Now, when you hear the words rap and music in the same sentence, who do you all think about? <laughs> no. What I was thinking was more of a well-mannered and meaningful rappers. Look at rappers like N.W.A., Run DMC, Eminem, and yes, even Macklemore. There are times where they make songs a bit like 2 Chains and Robin Dick and those other awful pieces of shit rappers who shouldn't fucking exist. You? You! What does that mean? It's that's just a letter. That's just a letter. Well, <clears throat> I'm just glad that untalented piece of Komaida isn't here anymore. But there's one thing that bothers me a bit. There are very few rappers that are on the internet that are actually good. And by that, I mean there are some that are really, really great. And then there are others that are just <sighs> so goddamn awful. You! Again, awful or lazy rappers who think that they're better than everybody else and still they get fame. Even if it is just for five fucking seconds. And okay, this is the last time I'll look at you. Fucking piece of shit Superman is in the hoe, you bastard. Today I'm going to talk to you about a rapper that does absolutely none of those things and actually puts fucking effort into their work. This is Ivy Concept. Or for all of you who like to fuck colorful donkeys, I be a brewing rapper. Now, Ivy Concept is a very talented rapper who makes very smooth flows and also can go really rough and hard at times while collaborating with other people. He has a real future on his shoulders, really. Let me tell you a bit more about him so you can understand what I'm talking about. Ivy Concept always loved music. He had a passion for the rap genre the most, but music always inspired him and his main inspiration was MC Jin. He loved the rhymes that Jin and other artists in the rap game had to put out for themselves. And he was inspired by doing this rapping shit and started doing it himself. And honestly, he's pretty damn good. No, seriously, I'm sick and tired of rappers talking about how big their dicks are or how they should be quoting women as bitch is and wanting to get with them. I mean, sure, there is a bunch of female dogs, but I don't understand. Like, do you want to put your penis in those dogs? What the fuck is wrong with you? In fact, Ivy Concept started way before the pony craze. Back in 2008, Ivy Concept was writing lyrics for songs for other people and some for himself, but he never really published them. But it was during 2010 was when he recorded his first songs and he had a little bit of positive feedback. Even if it was just a little bit, he, it made him feel special and so he started rapping full time. After that, the pony craze came in and he made his first song, Evil Enchantress. And after that, the rest is history actually. Soon he made more and more raps, some pony shit, some non-pony anime otaku bullshit. After he made his songs, he soon started going to conventions and um, other things and places and performed his music. And he's even collaborated with such well-known artists as Elmo Pony, The Living Tommy Stone, No Whackings Allowed, Feather Pony Art Lady, and Anal Scratch. He said himself that the first time he went on a concert, it was nerve-wracking, but he believes that with experience, you can basically do whatever you want, and your performances will only get better with each performance you do on stage. Honestly, he inspires so many people. That's why I appreciate Ivy the most. And he's a really great and talented artist. And he's just fucking cool, man. Really fucking cool. One of my favorite yeah. songs from Ivy would probably yeah. have to be Everything songs I Am. A free verse song that he made. That's been and part of my I really life. like it because of the fact that it really it boosts confidence. It basically is this telling him you. how thankful he is to have so and many you. people in his yeah. lives. <laughs> and not a lot of rappers do that anymore. Because of the fact that they're a bunch of fucking assholes who say, Ow, yeah, I'm gonna make some of my money. <laughs> and then smoke some weed. <laughs> I was I was doing a little Wolverine impression. I think I don't understand what that was. So I, I apologize. He currently has about 3,000 subscribers. So go and fucking subscribe to him and give him more love. And hopefully you can like him for music things. So... Go and watch Ivy Concept, listen to his music, and then tune in for the next installment of my stupid ass series called. Uh, wait, who's next in the list? Aw, oh, 
shit. All right, everybody, it's time to go back into the past and talk about butts and penises and, and stuff. But that's next time. Have a very good day, and please tip your waitresses. And be sure to come in the next installment of Musicians of the Future. Hey, hey guys, thanks so much for the support. If you like funny videos, go down here to watch two videos from Bobby Logic. One of them is a dub. And another one's a parody of Kingdom Hearts. You know, that one with the really complicated fucking thing. And also, right here, you can go and follow the man of the hour, Mr. Ivy Concept. Special thanks to my homeboy, Zan, for making this amazing fucking review bullshit. He also goes by the name Artsy. He is a voice actor. Go subscribe to him and also suck his penis if you are willing. One last thing. If you like Bitching is Magic, also go down to the screen here and watch more of that. More episodes are coming soon. Maybe it's going to be about a pony. Maybe it's not going to be about a pony. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm a pizza. So, yeah. Go and fucking watch that shit. Oh, yeah. Vocal Rompas. Uh, I have an ass blog that isn't pony related, but it is anime related. So, go and subscribe to that, too. Okay? I'm done self-promoting myself like a fucking asshole. So, just go and watch all these videos and shit.